So I decided to look at what's happened with vagus nerve stimulators since I last reported on it, and I just went to the database. So anybody who wants to look up devices, you can go to what's called the MAUD database, M-A-U-D-E, and that's where you can look up side effects or complications of various devices. So I looked at the vagus nerve stimulator. So there were more deaths in the interim, and we know that death reporting in the databases, in the FDA's databases, is voluntary, and so the estimates have show that only one in 10 get reported. You're lucky if it's that. But I'm not just going to look at the numbers. I'm going to look at the narratives. First one, what do I find? Now, just to prepare people for what I'm going to say, this is obviously either a highly trained tech who's in the OR with the doctors, a doctor who implants this stuff and is annoyed with other doctors implanting it, or it's one of this med tech sales reps because there's too much knowledge involved. So, but what they say is understandable. They write, the pin is often flipping out of the generator of the VNS device. And the company makes the VNS that makes it is covering it up. Reimbursement of the pin requires extra surgery. The company doesn't communicate the potential for radiofrequency field burns. Now, there was one patient who went into the MRI, came out freaking because it can People need to rough MRI and those metal wires, and it burned right through her neck. So they're noticing two problems here the pin coming out, not radio frequency. And then they go on to say this device is being used off label by salespeople and neurosurgeons in the settings just after implantation and set at a high level, causing the potential for asystole. That's what I talked about with Dennis Fagan flat lining, stopping the heart. And in some cases, patient death as a result. And he said, salespeople show up unwelcome with scrubs on as if they are healthcare providers to sell this product in the examination rooms, utilizing wrong data in front of patients and, and physicians. And they end by saying, I'm going to be disclosing this to the press by the end of 2024. And I didn't disclose it to me. So if you're out there, person, I want to know about this because I'll report on it. 